also shot died. Right now, the shooter remains on the run. Now, the triple shooting that also left an 18 year old wounded happened Sunday night at 5th and Rogers. WISN 12 News Hillary Mintz joins us from police headquarters tonight. And Hillary, you spoke with that 10 year old who survived. Yeah, Toya, she is hurting physically from being shot several times, but more so emotionally from losing her big sister. A 10 year old girl in the line of fire and now traumatized. If I sleep with a light off, all I'm going to hear is gunshot. Shire Wilson remembers the moment she tried to hide from multiple bullets fired into her home. My sister, friend, he pushed me in the door so I won't get hurt and stuff like that, but I already got shot. Sunday night, outside of her house near 5th and Rogers, someone opened fire, hitting the 10-year-old in both of her arms and her stomach. Are you in pain right now? Kind of. Now home, recovering. Her best friend and big sister, Shanaria, 13 years old, was killed right in front of her. And they took my sister to the hospital, and that's when I heard the news. When she died, it just hurt it. It hurt me so bad. Friday, the fourth grader walked the historic Mitchell Street area with neighbors, police, and the mayor, stopping to pay respects in front of the girl's home. You need help from the public. We do, we do, and we're always looking for help from the public. Police haven't even identified a suspect. They're still having a tough time with information. Is that frustrating? It's very frustrating because when people pull triggers, folks know. Folks know, right? And so unless we're waiting for somebody to pull another trigger, to hurt somebody that we care about, then we have to speak up. The girl's mother, experiencing terrible heartbreak, desperately hopes police catch the killer. It's sick. Y'all took a child. They heartless. Hillary joining us once again. Now, police have very little to go off of in this homicide case. Exactly, Toya. No arrests so far. In fact, they told me again today they have no vehicle description or of a person who may be involved with the triple shooting. It's why they need all the help they can get. Hillary Mintz reporting live tonight. Thank you. Police are asking anyone with information in this case to call Crime Stoppers or the Detectives Bureau at 414-935-7360. Of course, you can remain anonymous. Well